Greetings to all melanated people all around the world. It's really a joy. It's a blessing to be greeting you and reaching out to you, knowing that I'm bringing a message of emancipation to you, knowing that I'm bringing a message of liberation to you. Each and every time I come out here in nature to bring a message to you, I'm filled with such joy such peace and happiness knowing that at last a people who's been doing everything to find a place of liberation emancipation that there is really and truly a way for them and this way is not true the black panther movement or the black power movement are true any kind of movement except for a movement within and that movement within that i'm speaking about is within the mind of man whereby you have to look within your own self for all the answers of life. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to speak to you concerning putting the puzzle together. And the greatest puzzle there is, is life. And the greatest journey also is the journey of the mind. So this life is a journey and it's a great puzzle. And you have to fit the puzzle together. And whenever you fit that puzzle together, you will find or uh, discover your true identity, which is your divinity, and you will come to realize the journey of life from humanity to divinity. Now, I like to share my experience, our uh, experiences, because this is how I've been taught, and this is the only how I can teach you. That's the reason why I'm not an intellectual and not this eloquent person. I'm just doing the best I can by following my intuition. You know, when I was a, a little boy, whenever I go to Sunday school, even the preachers used to be moved because they would find that there was something special or very strange about this kid. And even the adults, many a time they will come and they will tell me, you know, that God is going to use me, I do something great in my life because the way how they would feel, just seeing me wrong and so on. And there was just this um, liveliness about me and always willing to learn and, and so on and be a part of, of the church system. Yet I didn't grow up in a, in a Christian home, I didn't grow up with people who were Christians, but from a little boy, you know, I wanted to discover for myself who am I and who God is. Okay, though it was at a, the age of 17, I basically asked myself that question, but as a little boy, I would have really loved to go to church and learn about the Bible. And so, a gift or a present was given to me for attending Sunday school the most more than any other child and for being so bright or intelligent where the scriptures is concerned and I felt real good of getting that gift and I went home and when I opened that gift to my surprise it was a jigsaw puzzle and at that time I didn't even know what was a jigsaw puzzle before but the thing about it is that it had 500 pieces to put to put together and to cut a long story short i'll never put that puzzle together but on the backs of the puzzle which is the picture because if you're going to fit up a, a, a puzzle you have to have a picture of what the puzzle is really all about and what you have to fit up that puzzle to be and it was the blue sky 
and a green pasture with a gate. And as I become old and start to understand the mystery of my life and understand my mystical self, then I realize that the 500 piece of puzzle was just a symbol of the grace and the faith that I will come into and experience and how it will be used in the earth to bring others into their green pasture the place of abundance goodness, happiness, joy bring a man to align himself back to nature and also ascending in the highest place for the sky is the limit so there it was showing you the ascension and the descension first of all and the ascension the journey of life from humanity into divinity as above so below as it is within so, it, so is it without That's the reason why my brother and my sisters I'm saying to you You've been admonishing the Bible to be To interpret the Bible line upon line precept upon precept Here a little And there a little All it is telling you It's a jigsaw puzzle that must be put together Now if you're going to put this jigsaw puzzle together The first thing you have to learn Is that the Bible is not literal The Bible is not secular history you have to learn that everything in this world is for us mental. So you have to learn the law of mentalism. That the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. And then when you interpret the Bible psychologically, then you will understand what it means in St. John 1 and verses 3. When it says all things was made by him. And without him there isn't anything made that was made. Then you will realize everything in this world was false imagined. Everything in this force was for everything in this world was false a thought. It was false mental. Then you will understand that a thought is false invisible. You can't see it, you can't taste it, you can't touch it, you can't smell it. And that which is invisible, when you act upon it. It becomes visible. Thus the reason why you've been admonished in Hebrews 13 and 11. No, Hebrews chapter 11, I believe, sorry. Hebrews chapter 11. Concerning faith, that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. It is teaching you how to take something from the unseen to the seen and that everything in this world came from the unseen world therefore everything around you is spiritual because it came out of you therefore to understand the puzzle or to understand life you have to understand that this whole entire world is your own self pushed out for everything exists in the mind of man and in, in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 I think it's verses 11 it tells you that God has placed the world in the mind of man and eternity in the mind of man that man will not find out just, just like that that the God in you must awake for you to come into such consciousness and such understanding of who you are so my brothers and my sisters I want to say this to you you cannot separate life from God or God from life so all I'm doing is pointing you to look within yourself to find that the creator is your own human imagination and that if you're gonna create anything upon the face of this earth it would be better if you would do it consciously because you've accept the power that is in you and you're willing to put the puzzle together so my brother and my sister that's my encouragement to you 
to look within and you find all the answers of life within and that the Bible is your own biography and for you to understand that the Bible is your own biography you have to learn to interpret the Bible psychologically okay so my brother my sister as usual I always give you the sign the sign of the rising sun whereby you've been admonished in Matthew 6 22 that if your eye be single your whole body will be full of light and that you must be the light of the world so I'm saying to you that God is light and you must be the light of the world by accepting the Bible to be your own biography and fitting the puzzle of life so with that be someone say peace love you I'm out